What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, Loremaster69 asks, can we show the category in the calendar view on a SharePoint calendar? And the answer is yes, you can. Stay tuned to find out how. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. Let's get to it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to that calendar tab because we're old school here. That's right, old school. And you're going to go modify that calendar view. Modify the view. You're going to find the section that says calendar columns. And you can decide which, where do you want category to show in the month view, category. You might regret that. Week view, title, and then set a location. Let's show the category. In the day view with title, and then instead of uh, location, let's show the category and then you go down and scroll to scroll and click OK and then ba bam now you have a meeting but you don't know what the name of the meeting is unless you go into the day view or the uh, week view so there you go alright so let's just simmer down a little bit let's back it up and talk about what's happening here first I like to thank our uh, viewer for the question because I honestly had never been asked that before and wasn't sure if it was possible but it is possible to show the category in the calendar view. We're looking at the monthly view and we can see this may not be ideal. So there is the drawback here. Uh, just to re recap, the way we did that was we went to the calendar tab and we are dealing with old school. Like this is classic, you know, if you're just getting into SharePoint right now, you may not have dealt with this a lot, but this is what we had from like 2007 up until you know, 2010, something like that. Uh, you're going to go to the calendar tab and you should be in calendar view. That's typically the, the default view for a an events list or for a calendar. And then you can go and modify that view. And you'll notice that when you modify this, you have different choices than what you normally have. So this is configured for, you know, that calendar display with the week, day or month. And as you go down here, you can see, you know, what columns do you want displayed in particular views? So the default in that option is the month view. Uh, and you only have really one thing to show. And typically that's going to be title. So if you're going to go category, then just know that you're not going to be able to see the title of that unless you dig a little bit deeper. But your week view and your day view lend themselves well to swapping out the location. I believe location is the default in the week and day view. Uh, but you can easily switch that to show the category. So let's see how that looks in real life. So we'll go back and here we go. We have a meeting. We don't know what the name of the meeting is. But if you want to find out, you can you know, click on it, open it up, blah, blah, blah. But if we wanted to switch to... Uh, the calendar tab and go to the day view we got to pick the proper day and there we go we see it's a test meeting and it is category of meeting and we go to week here's week again test meeting category of meeting there you go hope this has been helpful please like subscribe share remember nothing happens without you we appreciate your support remember SharePoint rocks and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.